last year we ended up finishing right here with the intent of continuing on up this way so we're going to come in and then end up adding a huge six foot wide bridge piece that we have sitting all the way back behind our cooler we are going to build a pondless waterfall the easiest way to learn something is to teach it we are rocking and rolling on this pond we appreciate you guys tuning in What is up, everybody? It is Jack with Team Aquascape. We are back out here in Glen Ellen, Illinois. And this project we actually finished last year. 95% of it was finished. We were able to get it up and running, but now we are actually gonna finish it 100%. So let me spin you guys around and give you guys a walkthrough of what we're gonna be doing. We have it turned off right now. The guys are doing a phenomenal job on already starting to dig back this waterfall. Last year, we ended up finishing our stream right here with the intent of continuing on up this way, but we could not do that considering this was the only access to back behind this entire yard. They ended up dropping this yard a good four feet with dirt you can see all the dirt from we had a big rain a couple weeks ago and it just washed a bunch of channels down but we are finally out here finishing this so we're gonna come in we're gonna rip apart this top waterfall we'll throw our overlap down behind this waterfall here put this sheet style waterfall back together and then we're gonna come up here and then end up adding a huge six foot wide bridge piece that we have sitting all the way back behind our cooler so there's gonna be a nice bridge here for the lawnmower to get back here when they come out and cut the grass once they do get the grass next week and then there's gonna be a waterfall back where this timber wall is facing up to where the house is at up there so they can see this nice sheet style waterfall back here so we're gonna end up tearing back this retaining wall a little bit throwing some wing walls in putting a nice waterfall in dumping down into this pooling area here going underneath this bridge and then dumping over our waterfall so stay tuned and it's going to be a fun project i cannot wait to see this thing up and running DK Team Aquascape. It is day two out here on the second phase of finishing this pond. This, this thing is coming together super superb. Really, really happy how Jack and the guys got some progress done out here yesterday. We're back today to wrap it up, get the water flowing. Let me turn you around and show you what we got going on. Guys right now are working on putting this retaining wall back together that ties in to this beautiful pond. This. We've got the bridge in from yesterday. So as soon as we get done with this, we're going to jump over. We had a little bit of delay. We've got a some other contractors out here today working on irrigation. Uh, we had to run some drainage tile and a couple chases through there. So that once they're done with what they're wrapping up, we can jump in here, get our overlap in. Got a couple frame rocks to put in right in here. And then we're gonna do two drops with the spillway, kind of where that bucket is, dropping in and dropping in, and then into a pooling area going underneath the bridge yeah. down and everything else. We're gonna get this thing cleaned out, get it fired up, get it up running again. Mike's down there. He's 
He's super excited to see this thing completed, get his landscaping in next week, and have a finished yard where he can enjoy this feature and this amazing view here behind the house. We're gonna get to work. We'll keep you guys posted throughout the day of the progress and keep tuning in. decided to audible on this one. Down here, this liner is kind of tight to do an overlap. We decided to take the extra half hour. So we're actually gonna seam this so that we don't have any issues with leaks or anything going forward. So we're gonna getting the material together real quick. We're gonna put a board down and do our thing and put this seam in, so stay tuned. things that we're doing to, to help soften some of these edges coming up through the retaining walls off of this waterfall is we're leaving little plant pockets so that when Mike's landscaper comes in they can soften some of these edges up and really tie that in to our feature and give it that complete look. As you can see down there there's already a few things planted. Just gives you that pop of color, pop of green, kind of takes it to that whole next uh, level if you will. Chris, you got a fancy tool in your hand there. Uh, what you got? This is my blush brush. Nice. Yeah, no, this is- For uh, when you shave? <laughs> right. We're gonna use this to apply the primer before we uh, put the seam tape and the cover tape on. Keeps our hands cleaner, keeps us from making such a mess all over everything with that primer, because it's super, super gooey, super sticky. Nice. So is there like a technique to that, or do you paint in like some happy trees? Uh, no, yeah, some clouds. It's, uh, wax bob. on, wax off. Channel your uh, inner Bob Ross. Don't forget to breathe. key to doing these seams is you always have something flat underneath like a good sized board like a 2 by 12 or a hawk cut piece of plywood keeping the liner straight and taut so it's nice to have about three or four guys when doing it so that you got one or two guys kind of working on priming or running down the tape and two guys holding the liner so that you don't get any wrinkles or folds or air bubbles in it because that will cause a future leak if you're not careful. You guys know the routine we do these all the time for nice little uh, tips and tricks. So one of the uh, great things about Collaboration Nation is we're working together, we're spitballing ideas. Chris just came up with a, a zinger of one. We want to make sure he gets credit for it. So what you got there, Chris? We want so, to make sure we don't steal his idea. Right. Well, we're Jeff, struggling. Tommy and I, we're going to steal it anyway. Right? Right? We'll give him credit on camera. Well, we're struggling to, you know, you got to get this board if you don't have a board that goes all the way, which is rare. So we're going to, I'm going to drill a hole in a board and put a string on it. You mean it so to tell me you don't have a hole back and forth. Board stretcher in your truck? No board stretchers. We had one and out. then somebody lost it. I love mine. <laughs> so your idea is what? I so you. we're gonna we're gonna drill a hole in a board and put a string at either end or a little rope so that we can just pull the board smoothly through the liner underneath. I'd actually go one step further do one at each end. We're gonna so that you pull yeah, it back yeah. as you're going because you got your double sided and then your cover tape. Yep, yep, exactly. Make it simple and easy. We'll call it the seam stretcher. The, the seam, seam stretcher. stretcher. There you go. Patented name and all. <laughs> Another little tip and trick, we're working on tying in all of this outcropping into the stairs. One of the things is erosion, so that's one of the things we're kind of keeping in mind. What we're doing is we're taking a foam gun back where they're setting in some of the hand pieces, foaming around it so that it'll actually help retain and won't have any of that dirt bleed through and run off, graveling back behind it, doing some kind of just soften things up. We're also going to come back in here and do a piece of moss rock or two to give a little bit more elevation, a little bit more definition going down along the stairs, kind of help tie in with that light as well and define some of the grade work that we've got to do out in the, uh, the yard going down the bridge.
right, so we got our frame rocks and spillway set up for our main waterfalls with the focus on the view vantage point up on that patio porch area with those windows in mind. We got everything dialed in over here. We're getting ready to set a rock right up there as a retaining wall stone where Jeff just put that bucket. Chris and Jeff are working up spillway. That's all pretty much buttoned up. And then we are going to backfill this area. We've got this nice moss rock shoulder that we're going to come off this frame rock towards that retaining wall to kind of hold and retain that area. We get this area backfilled and then we've got a couple little moss rock stones we're going to set up there in that pooling area. We've got a little bit of foam work to do, a little gravel down in here. Jared and Tommy are working on doing uh, the final rinse on this lower stream and we'll be ready to fill this thing up, fire it up. We're ready, Gabe. Fire that bad boy up. It's been a successful day. We're maybe 25 minutes past our deadline of what we were hoping to accomplish, but the key is we accomplished it. Super excited, super happy how this thing turned out. The guys are doing a little tweaking and a little dialing on it, but overall it's a very successful two days. Phase two on this project, on this pondless waterfall. Beautiful view. Everywhere you sit back here, there's really not a bad spot anywhere out in this yard. And this is gonna definitely pull them out of the house, really enjoy their backyard. So let me turn you guys around, show you what we got, what we ended up coming up with, and uh, you guys be the judge. So let us know what you think. I was gonna ask Jeff and Chris what they thought of this project. They got to be on it here the last two days. They were uh, huge, huge key pieces to getting this thing done today. What's your thoughts? Great teamwork, great project. It was a little bit of a challenge, but we got it done. Bridge, the extension, it all worked out beautifully. Awesome. Everyone worked together. It's been great having you guys. Excited to do one more with you tomorrow. It was we'll a pleasure. All over again. A pleasure working with you guys. What do you think, Chris? This has been amazing. And like Jeff said, great team. We we had uh, just amazing progress the last couple days, and that thing looks incredible. That's a really yeah, amazing one. Super, super uh, ecstatic about it. It's yeah. going to be bringing them a lot of uh, enjoyment moving forward. The last one we built for them, they were really happy with, so I think this one even set that two, three bars over the top. Right. That right. one. I bet you'll be back for another one. We'll be back for another one. We always are. <laughs> right. All right, guys, well, you know the drill. Smash that like button, subscribe, tell all your friends. Even though we've got all these awesome CACs with us this year, we still need all of your friends to be our friends. So tell everybody, and we'll see you guys on the next one.